case number one. Mr. Y, a 46-year-old businessman, visited our outpatient department for health checkup. Along with the routine investigations, an ECG was done. And this ECG was found for reporting. Is it normal or is it deviation from normal? Let's see. The rate is around 90 beats per minute. The rhythm is sinus and regular. The peer interval is normal. The QRS morphology also seems to be normal. And there is no ST segment deviation. But there are T wave inversion in lead 1 and lead AVL with negative deflection of the QRS complex. So the T wave inversion lead 1 right here. So let's take a pen. So you can see the T inversion and also the inverted P, which you'll we'll check later. And same for lead AVL, you have a T inversion. The QRS is also negative. The QRS is negative in AVL as well. And the P is also inverted. So everything is inverted in lead 1 and in lead AVL. So um, is it only right axis deviation with high lateral MI? As you can see that lead 1 is going down and lead AVF is going up. This is right axis deviation. And the T inversion in lead 1 in AVL may indicate high lateral ischemia or maybe non-STEMI. So although those are possibilities, but the inversion of P wave in both lead 1, that's right here and right here, the P inversion in lead 1 actually indicates something else. And if you look at the lead AVR, it's positive, which is unusual. The AVR should have negative deflection of the P, QRS, and T. But here, uh, the P seems to be positive or equiphasic. The QRS is positive and the T is also positive. So AVR is positive. Lead 1 has inverted. Lead AVL has inverted. So if we, if we think about the orientation of the leads, the lead one is from the right arm to the left arm. This is the lead one. And then lead AVR is usually from the right arm lead. And the lead AVL is usually from the left arm lead. But you can see that the lead one has become inverted. So the right arm lead must have changed place. Uh, it must have moved away from its normal position. Lead AVL is inverted. That means that uh, left arm lead must have changed its, its position. So right arm changing position, left arm changing position. So this is probably a limb lead reversal, which is right arm and left arm lead reversal. Another uh, differential diagnosis could be uh, dextrocardia because in dextrocardia you have a positive in positivity in AVR. But if we look at the chest leads from V1 to V4, the progression of the R in all of those seems to be normal. So progression is normal. Uh, this excludes dextrocardia. So this is a limb lead reversal. So dextrocardia is excluded. And the diagnosis is limb lead reversal. And obviously, this is a RA to LA lead reversal. So we have uh, talked about this, that so now how can we report the ECG? So without reporting, um, should we advise for repeat ECG? Or should we just report as that there is right arm to left arm lead reversal or you can say there is right arm to left arm lead reversal with normal ECG. I think we can do both of them or we can repeat the ECG if the patient is available. In this instant, the patient was with us and the request was sent to repeat the ECG in the ECG lab. So this was the repeat ECG and we can see that the lead one has become normal lead AVL 
also normal and AVR is appearing typical, which is inversion in all parts of the AVR, including the P, QRS, and also T. So this is a normal ECG finding, which is uh, very reassuring. On another day, I wanted to see what happens if I reverse the two other limb leads, which is the uh, neutral lead and also the left leg lead. So if I uh, change the limb lead from the right leg to left leg and vice versa, what happens? And I have, I've got this ECG doing so. So if you see the limb leads right here, all of them appear typical or kind of normal. So there is actually no change if I uh, if I reverse the order of the right leg and the left leg, if I change those two limbs, two leads, then there is nothing, nothing happens. So the findings are normal. And this is uh, what we can see in an Einthoven triangle, that if I reverse the neutral lead with the left leg lead, the Einthoven triangle is preserved and the ECG is virtually normal. So it doesn't make any difference with ECG interpretation. So to check findings, I had made another type of reversal between two leads and I've got this ECG doing so. So uh, here we can see that uh, lead AVL is kind of normal. Uh, lead one, two, three, and AVF. So all of those leads are inverted. And the lead AVR is unusual. It's unusually upright. So um, let's start from someplace. Let's start from lead three. So if lead three is inverted, lead three starts from the left lower leg. So this is the uh, left lower limb leg. Mm, so th this is the this is the lead connected with the left lower leg lead or electrode. So if the lead three is inverted the LL lead must have moved away from its normal position. And here the AVR is also positive. That means the RA lead must have moved away from its normal position. So if LL moved away from its position and RA moved away from its position, there must have been a change or there must have been a shift between those two electrodes. So RA has moved in, in place of LL and vice versa. So this is a RALL lead reversal. And as RA is the mother of all leads, because RA is connected with uh, lead 2, and lead 1, and also um, lead 2, lead 1, and also uh, lead AVA. Uh, that's why uh, we can say that it's a mother of all leads, because whenever the position of the RA, it goes down, almost all the inferior leads become negative. So true become negative, three becomes negative, and AVF becomes negative. Everything becomes negative if the RA moves towards the left leg. So this is right term, left leg, lead reversal. Here, the Einthoven triangle rotates 180 degree vertically around an axis formed by the AVL, because AVL remains normal because the left arm uh, lead does not change the position. So now let's see examples from a different patient. Here is the baseline ECG uh, where we can see that the lead 2 has some T inversion and some Q waves. The 3 has a deep Q wave and T inversion. Lead AVF also has T inversion. And then lead 1, which seems to be uh, having some T inversion SC changes. Same for AVL, some ST depression. Uh, V5 has a very uh, large Q, uh, large R and STT inversion. Same for V6. So uh, this is, so the previous ECG was a kind of inferior MI with um, inferior MI with uh, left ventricular hypertrophy. Now in this ECG, what's, what can you see? First of all, the lead one has an inverted P. That is very important. Whenever lead one has an inverted P, the RA lead probably has moved away from its position. 
Then let's check AVL. The AVL also is inverted. So AVL is related with the LA lead. So the RA lead has moved away from its position. The LA lead has moved away from its position. So there must have been a reversal between those two leads. Additionally, we can check the other leads, right, like lead AVF, which is, seems to be normal because the P is not inverted. So the lead LL is probably in its normal position and AVR is positive which is atypical, that also indicates that RA has moved away from its normal position because now it's probably sitting at the left arm. And that's why we are seeing those findings. And the lead two and three, as the RA is changing from its normal position, it's going towards the left arm. The lead three and two will uh, change positions. Now let's uh, check another ECG where we can see normal ECG findings. Now let's uh, see a lead reversal. So first uh, start with the lead one. We can see that the lead one has an inverted P, an inverted QRS. So as lead one is inverted, probably the right arm lead has probably changed its position. And after that, let's check AVL. The AVL also negative, inverted. So if the AVL is inverted, that means the left arm lead has changed its position. So RA and LA, has changed their position. So there must have been a switch between those two leads. They are sitting at one another's position. And that's why as RA is sitting towards the left side, the AVR has a positive P and a positive T. And the QRS, although it's uh, pretty much negative, but the positive P and a positive T indicates that the AVR has changed position. And the AVF is unchanged, that indicates that the left lower leg or LL lead is in its normal position. And the lead 2 has a normal position, so I think there is nothing special. So lead 3 has a strong P or a large P, that means the lead 2 and 3 has uh, kind of like exchanged their uh, normal sign because now RA is sitting towards the left, and that's why. Uh, the lead one uh, is going to be inverted uh, like here and then lead two and three will change their position here um, we see another example of lead reversal so first uh, begin with the important positive finding which uh, is in the lead three we can see that the p is inverted so lead three is indicated uh, by uh, left lower leg so the lead three is um, indicative of the ch changes in the LL lead. So if the lead 3 has a negative P, that means the LL lead has moved away from its normal position. So from here, from left lower leg, it can go towards the right term or it can go towards the uh, left term. To identify where it has gone, we have to check uh, next the AVR. So in the AVR, we can see that AVR is kind of typical because uh, P is inverted and QRS is negative. So inverted P indicates that AVR is kind of normal or typical. That means AVR is indicated by the RA. So RA leads, um, it, it's lying in its normal position. RA has not changed its position. So the only place that LL can go is towards the left arm. So if it goes towards the left arm and the left arm comes below, then only these changes can happen. And you can see that the AVF and the AVL has some changes. And then lead one and lead two also has some changes uh, such as uh, the P in the lead one should not be bigger than lead two. But here the P in the lead one uh, has a larger size that indicates that they have kind of changed their respective position. So lead one has become lead two and lead two has become uh, lead one because of the change in the position of the left leg leads. Now this is uh, a schematic of the previous uh, changes. So whenever you have a change in the left leg, lower leg leads, so if the LA lead goes up towards to the side of LA and the LA comes down, the number one change that you are going to look for is lead three because the lead three will going to be inverted. So it's inverted. That's a change we are going to see. And then we will check up the AVR, which is unchanged. That means the position of the RA is fixed. 
So the only change that can happen that can cause an inverted uh, lit 3 and the normal AVR is a reversal between LA and the LL. And that's what you see here. And whenever there, this reversal happens, the position of the 1 and 2 also is changed. And that's why we see the larger P in the lead 1. That means that lead 1 is actually the lead 2. And lead 2 is actually representing the lead 1. And also there is change in position of the AVL and AVF because AVF is indicated by or AVF is formed by LL lead. And AVL is formed by the LA lead. And so, so they, their positions will also be changed. But to identify uh, in the first instance that this is a LA and LL lead reversal, we have to check just lead 3 and lead AVL. And that's all. That would give us all the information we need to be confident that this is a LA and LL lead reversal. Now here I um, I'm showing another ECG. So here I can see that lead three has an inverted uh, P. So lead three indicating the LL lead has pos changed position. So LL lead has moved away. So it can go to either right RA or it can go to the location of LA. And to identify that we have to check the AVR. And here is the AVR. AVR has a positive P. That means the position of the RA lead also has changed. It's moved away from the RA. So if LA lead is moving away from its position, RA lead is moving away from its position, that means there is a reversal between the LA, LL and RA. And whenever the RA moves down, moves down to the side of the LL, then the leads associated, other leads associated with RA also becomes inverted, such as uh, the lead 1 becomes inverted, the lead 2 also becomes inverted. And as the lead 3, uh, lead LL goes up towards the right side, the AVF also becomes inverted. So majority of the leads, almost all the leads, uh, limb leads become inverted except for AVL because AVL is actually produced by the left arm lead. So whenever you have a RA and LL lead reversal, you have massive changes. Almost everything becomes changed except for AVL because that's, uh, that's what comes from LA. So now let's simplify the lead reversal. So let's say uh, lead one is inverted. If lead one is inverted, that means that probably you have uh, change in the position of RA lead. RA lead has, has probably moved away from its normal position. And then if AVR is positive, that, that confirms that RA lead has moved away from its position. And then if AVL is inverted, that means the LA lead also has moved away from its normal position because AVL is formed by the LA lead. So if RA lead moved away from its position, LA lead moved away from its position, then there should have been an exchange between those two. So they are sitting um, at, at each other's place. So this is what? This is an LA to RA lead reversal. Then let's check another situation where we have a inverted lead three. So if the lead 3 is inverted, that means the LL lead has kind of uh, moved away. The LL lead has kind of moved away from its normal position. It can go to either RA or LA. And if the AVR is typical, that means the RA is in its normal position. So the only place the LL can go is to, it's towards the LA. So LL to LA. So this is what? This is, to L, this is LL to LA lead reversal. Next up uh, is if it's uh, if lead three is inverted, we have said before that then LL can go to either RA or it has moved towards the LA. To differentiate them, we have to check the AVR. If the AVR is positive, that means the RA lead has changed its position. Whenever AVR is positive, RA is not at its own place. And whenever RA is sitting uh, at the place of LL, it's going down, then all other inferior leads will become inverted. So this is what? This is RA to LL lead reversal. Now let's talk about determining axis. So 